Hi everybody, this video is about a Nextian 4.3 monitor by IT Studios, which I consider to be the best monitor for an Arduino. One of its advantages is that it doesn't require any resources from an Arduino to operate. What it does is just receive some signals through an Arduino's UART and sends back a simple code. Arduino doesn't use all its resources. Go to nextian.itid.cc and click on Download. There are two download buttons. You can choose any. Download and install the software. This is how your Nextian editor software should look after installation. Go to github.com and download an Arduino library there. Move it to the Libraries folder. A folder with the name Nextian-Master should appear. The links to the monitor and software are in the video description section. Let's start. Create a new document in Nextian Editor. Name it 123456. Choose your Nextian monitor model. Its number is marked on the back side of the monitor. I have an NX4827TO43. Go to the Display tab. Choose an ISO that ends with 5 in the Character Encoding section. You can input Russian characters now. This monitor resolution is 480 by 272. Create a picture of the same size in Photoshop. Go to the Picture section and click on Plus. Upload the picture. Go to the Toolbox section, click on Picture. The name of the file should be at the upper left corner of the window. Change the picture resolution to 480 by 272. The picture should fit to the screen. Click on Pick. The picture file opens. Click on the file, then OK. The picture is set. You need to create a font. Go to Tools menu, choose Font Generator. Choose a font. I chose Arial. Type 89 in Font Name box. Click Generate Font button. Save the font with the file name 89. The font is set. Go to the Fonts tab. It's near the Picture tab. Add the generated font. Click here and choose Files from the folder. Click on Button. The button icon should appear on the monitor. There they are, two buttons. I typed turn on and pressed enter, and the button changed its name from new TXT to the generated text. Click on text. You can add any text here. Choose its size here. Let's make it 300 by 50. The rectangle box should appear. Type something into the TXT box. I have the following text, 5V for the LED light. Now the B1 button will start the 5V power for the LED light, and the B0 button will turn it off. Use a USB to TTL converter to upload data from your PC to the monitor. Select Send Component ID checkbox for both the B1 and B0 buttons. The monitor power is 5V. Connect the RX and TX wires. Connect the RX wire from the monitor to the TXD connector of the converter. Connect the TX wire to the RXD connector of the converter. You can use an SD card for data. The monitor has a slot for it. However, I recommend avoiding SD cards and using a USB to TTL converter for data transfer. I connected it and one of my old projects appeared on the screen. Click on Upload to create a new project. Let's try it out. Click on Compile. Look for errors. I see none here. Click on Upload and then OK. The download has begun. Let's wait. 
Connect the LED lights positively to the Arduino pin 13 through a 330 ohm resistor. Connect the LED lights negatively to the GND port. Connect the monitor TX port to the Arduino pin 2 and the RX port to the Arduino pin 3. Connect the 5V positive and negative to the red and black wires. Open the Arduino IDE software. Choose File, Samples, NextDN Master, Receive Messages, click Load. Click on the Serial Port Monitor button. A new window should open. Push the B1 and B0 buttons. There are symbols in the window. These are the data sent to the Arduino by pushing the B1 button. Push the B0 button. They differ only by one number. I edited a file from the monitor's standard library and pasted the data from the B1, turn on, and B0, turn off, buttons to the message line. I added the following, digital write 13 high for the B1 button message and digital write 13 low for the B0 button message. Upload it to the Arduino. The link for the sketch is in the video description section too. Done. Let's try. Push button 1. Push button 2. Turn on. Turn off. Turn on. Turn off. You can connect a relay to the circuit. It should be connected to the 5V power, too. You can connect up to 10 amp to its contacts. You can connect light bulbs or even small heaters. Try turning it on and off. Go to wiki.itidstudio.com for many interesting projects with this monitor. There are 3D models, too. I uploaded it to the monitor. Look here. Text and button menu changes the button text. There's also a spot the difference game. I think this is a very easy and useful monitor. If you enjoyed watching the video, click like and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of interesting crafts for you coming up soon. See you!